Namaste everyone, my name is Sumaitha Rao and I'm an immigrant from the city of Bangalore in India and I serve as the executive director of the Mayor's Office of Sustainability. Uh, I'm Marcus Winkler, Metro Council President and Representative of District 17 and I'm an immigrant from the country of Germany where my family moved from when I was four years old. My name is Philip Molestina. I am the Public Education Outreach Coordinator for the Human Relations Commission and I'm the child of an immigrant from Paraguay. Hi, my name is Khalil Batchan. I'm Palestinian American. I am a father of three amazing boys, Aiden, Elijah, and Joseph, married to my wonderful wife, Tabitha. I um, live here in Louisville, Kentucky, um, in the south end part of Jefferson County. I am the local District 25 Metro Council member, as well as a restaurateur, entrepreneur, um, and a catering business. Uh, my name is Vivian Marin, and I migrated from Panama uh, back in 1990, and I moved to the Louisville area in 1998. Uh, currently, I am the program manager for the Office for Immigrant Affairs, and my role there is to uh, coordinate and oversee programs and initiatives, as well as uh, maintain um, community uh, outreach contact and information uh, with the uh, or partners. Hello, my name is Amos Izerimana. I am a refugee from Burundi and I am the director for the Office for Immigrant Affairs. Hello, my name is Salvador Melendez, immigrant from El Salvador. I work for the Department of Public Works um, and I do public information and media relations for the for that department. So immigrant heritage is important to me. It's a part of my identity and it's, I think, something that enriches my life and my work. It's a way for you to bring in your experience of being in a different culture and a country. And, and I think that that helps me in my work with just understanding that people come from different backgrounds and, and experiences can be new and the way that people communicate can be new. And, and I think it helps foster a sense of uh, just empathy and connection and being able to celebrate different points of view. Well, I think immigrant heritage is really about, you know, how do you blend uh, your background from where you come from uh, with where you live now? And, and, you know, how do you add those cultural elements, those social elements uh, to the fabric of the community that you live in? Uh, and really make it a more rich and diverse place to be. Um, I believe that the biggest assets uh, to immigrants will be resilience and uh, determination. The successes and contributions of the immigrant community is very important and vital to our city as much as our country for the fact that we can bring different cultures, for different diversity, different attributes, different mindset and open-mindedness to what America is. We are a diverse, wonderful country that allows change and, and it's the American dream is what they say. And it gives you an opportunity to grow and build what you want um, and understanding that you have to work hard to get it. Uh, what immigrant, immigrant heritage means to me, um, so many things, diversity, diversity of thought. We all come from different places, um, have dealt with adversity, an adversity that has, that has shaped us into what, to what, who we are now and has molded us into being a better citizen in this country. The strength that immigrant community brings to Louisville is uh, hard work. They got big ideas and they have big dreams that they want to accomplish in a community where um, there's a lot of possibilities. As a refugee, uh, the biggest assets that I bring and all my family members bring um, is the resilience that uh, we um, came with uh, starting a new life here in Louisville, but also really uh, bring in all of that experiences that we've had in a refugee camp where we spent 12 years here um, to help inspire other refugees to see themselves as change makers, uh, but also as leaders in this world. So I'd say I've had a really great immigrant experience in Louisville. Um, the city has been super welcoming and great to me and my family. We uh, have really enjoyed getting to know different people and the communities and building relationships and enjoying the parks and the loose city games and all the fun stuff that the city has to offer. Well, I think the immigrant community in America has, you know, very rich history and, and has driven uh, economic, social, cultural diversity that makes our country such a great place to live. 
I think when everybody brings their unique perspectives from where they come from, you know, this country is uh, the epitome of a melting pot. And I think those diverse perspectives, uh, both to our country and then, you know, more locally here in Louisville, uh, are what make it a great place to live. Immigrants uh, do more than fill in the labor market gap. Um, they also bring uh, contributions to cultural diversity uh, when it comes to uh, language and um, uh, they bring part of, of their culture with them. And immigrants are um, citizens of the world. Immigrant heritage means to me that we are a big melting pot in the America and that we are here to serve a greater good, work together, and be one. Um, America is a great, wonderful place where you can follow your American dream and you can build a better, wonderful, prosperous life if you put the hard work in, put the effort in, stay positive, and stay on the grind. Immigrant heritage to me means coming from a line of hard workers, uh, dreamers, and achievers. Uh, what immigrant heritage means to me, it means so many things. Appreciation, desire to learn, desire to contribute to something. Uh, that's what we do as immigrants. We come to a new place, uh, learn its customs, uh, bring our own, try to blend it or try to uh, make that new environment for us, uh, can make contributions to it to make it better. So June is Immigrant Heritage Month, and this week we celebrated World Refugee Day. And so throughout this month, we have been highlighting the various contributions of our immigrant and refugee populations. Uh, we started with stories of impact from some of our leading um, entrepreneurs and professionals who are immigrants or refugees. And then we highlighted women who are leading the way and in our women empowerment segment. We also highlighted international students who have found a place here in Louisville uh, and may stay here as part of our community. And uh, we are also highlighting Metro government employees who have um, an immigrant background. We have enjoyed our collaboration between the Office for Immigrant Affairs and Metro TV, as well as various community partners to ensure that we pay tribute to the enormous contributions that immigrants and refugees bring to Louisville. Thank you for following us.